Elon Musk signed a petition to stop AI before it's too late. This is the first AI hologram that can actually have a conversation with you. With a simple click, this guy hacked Microsoft Bing and was able to access millions of Office accounts. Introducing Microsoft Security Copilot. Here is a monkey playing Pong with his brain. You can now treat the model with just text. OpenAI is hiring with a salary up to half a million dollars. Elon Musk signed a petition to stop AI before it's too late. We call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. They've now gotten 1,300 signatures. Elon Musk has signed. Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, has signed. Emad Mostak, the CEO of Stability AI. And even Craig Peters, the CEO of Getty Images, has signed. And of course, Kes. We don't need stock photos anymore. Now, what's the real issue? Advanced AI could represent a profound change in the history of life on Earth and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care and resources. Unfortunately, this level of planning and management is not happening. And we must ask ourselves, should we let the machines flood our information channels with propaganda and untruth? Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? Such decisions must not be delegated to unelected tech leaders. So one key point to understand here is that even the experts at OpenAI, they say that they still don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes and they define it as a black box. Now, the critical point of change here would be when the AI says that I want control and I'm not going to let humans be in my way. And all of a sudden, it will start lying to humans with the secret intention of becoming as powerful as possible. And this is why they're calling for a six month break. Now, this is kind of dumb. Let's say USA pauses its AI development. Will China? No. Can we afford to fall six months behind or even in just the US? Hey, OpenAI, stop doing your things for six months so we can catch up. It's not going to happen. And in a month from now, the AI overlord is my god. This is the first AI hologram that can actually have a conversation with you. Hello, Nikki. It's great to see you. What brings you hopping by today? Well, I was wondering if you could help me identify and finish the rest of the song. It goes like this. Home is where I want to be. Pick me up and turn me around. You know the song? Sure thing, Nikki. That's the Talking Heads classic. This must be the place. Here's the next line. I feel numb, born with a weak heart. I can't really play the song because of copyright. To add? Do you have anything else to add? And... I just gotta play it. Well, Last thing I it says. I or two to my snack collection. <laughs> but seriously, this must be the place is a great tune. It always puts a spring in my step. Anything else I can help you with, Nikki? This is the first time in history I ever seen somebody vibe and chill with a hologram. Subscribe down below. With a simple click, this guy hacked Microsoft Bing and was able to access millions of Office accounts. He even changed the Bing search results to become his own hackers 1995. It all started when a research team at Wiz.io first noticed a strange configuration in Azure. A single checkbox is all that separates an app from becoming a multi-tenant, which by default allows all users to log in. I found a Microsoft app configured like this and just logged in. My user was immediately granted access to this Bing trivia page. Don't let the name fool you. It controls much more than just trivia. In fact, as I came to find out, it can control actual search results. I started looking around to realize the app's purpose and why I had access. Then I found a section that contained some keywords and corresponding search results, which raised the question, could this app actually modify search results on Bing.com? I tested this theory by selecting the best soundtracks keyword and switching the first result from Dune 2021 to my personal favorite, Hackers 1995. 
I was surprised to see this result immediately appear on Bing.com. Then I checked for XSS viability by adding a harmless payload into my new result. I refreshed the page and my payload successfully executed. I quickly reverted my changes and reported everything to Microsoft, but one question remained on my mind. What can I do with this XSS? When inspecting Bing requests, I noticed an endpoint being used for Office 365 communications. As it turns out, Bing is allowed to issue Office tokens for any logged on user. I quickly crafted an XSS payload utilizing this functionality, tested it on myself, and it worked. With this token, an attacker could fetch Outlook emails, calendars, Teams messages, SharePoint documents, OneDrive files, and more from any Bing user. Here you can see my personal inbox being read on our attacker machine using the exfiltrated Bing token. Microsoft Security Response quickly responded to our report, fixed the vulnerable applications, and introduced some AAD product and guidance changes to help customers mitigate this issue. For this, they awarded us with $40,000 bug bounty, which we will donate. They made a full video on this. Check out Hilai on Twitter. Now for better news, welcome to the annual concrete eating competition. Here we got the first contestant chomping on a block. You got big muscles, but do you got a jaw of steel? Uncle Terry coming in with a real good technique right here. And massive congrats to the winner, Rolf. Introducing Microsoft Security Copilot. It's like ChatGPT just for coding. At the center is the prompt bar. Prompts allow you to ask a natural language question like, what are all the incidents in my enterprise? You can ask for a summary of a vulnerability, or you can feed in files, URLs, or code snippets and ask for information about them. What you input here stays within your control. Your data is your data. Security Copilot uses AI to generate a response to the prompt. So this is summarize log 4J vulnerability. Here we can see a short summary of a vulnerability and we can see where this information was sourced from. You can edit the prompt if you want to correct or adjust the response. So I don't have a reversing background. By reversing, I mean dissecting malicious code to understand what it does. One of my coworkers asked Security Copilot to reverse engineer a script and it did it. They saved that prompt wow. to a prompt book. It says produce a visual to explain the activity of the download the exploit and how it moved through the incident. And just like that, it made an insane graphic. Wow. And now I can use it. In this example, it reverse engineered a malicious PowerShell script, explaining what it did step by step in a way that pretty much anyone could understand. When I saw that Security Copilot could do something like this, it felt like a game changing moment in our industry. With Security Copilot, you can do in minutes what used to take all day. Here is a monkey playing Pong with his brain. So this little guy's name is called Piper and it's a monkey with an implanted neural link brain chip playing a game of Pong with his brain. And yeah, this is not magic and it's doing it of its own volition. It's, you don't see it on this video, but they actually get rewarded like snacks and they can pick whatever snack they want to. This monkey is really good at playing video games. And the next thing they're gonna train it on is to drink energy drinks. 3D artists are gonna love this. You can now 3D model with just text. It's called Spline AI. And here you can say, make random cubes and then make all the messages smaller, move them up, rotate the messages randomly, add physics to all of them and play. <laughs> it's really crazy. Now you can have a star, you can add a bevel to it and make it spin. Here you can even add a car next to a tree and add the controls to it. Here you can arrange all the spheres in a circle <laughs> just like that. Changing the colors of spheres, making a text that says hello and making the spheres into shapes and making a pastel pink color palette and then making it rotate forever. It's really awesome. Here you can change all the different color palettes that they have here, making it all like golden, for example. And here they are turning it all into gray and making the text light and then add a purple point light. Beautiful stuff here. OpenAI is hiring with a salary up to half a million dollars. The role is called a kill switch engineer. The role says, listen, 
We just need someone to stand by the servers all day and unplug them if this thing turns on us. You'll receive extensive training on the code word, which we will shout if GBT goes off the deep end and starts overthrowing countries. We expect you to be patient, know how to unplug things, bonus points if you can throw a bucket of water on the servers too, just in case, and be excited about OpenAI's approach to research. I can unplug things. Bug report, GPT-6 bribed the control rod axe man. <laughs> now I'm compiling a list of eight of the best things happening in AI every single day. Now, all you need to get access to that is subscribe down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.